Hi, well, we're back here again. It's time for another round of Karen's, Kevin's, and their public freak out shenanigans here on Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your host, the Australian idiot, me, the dumbass. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a very interesting clip, to say the least. Basically, what's apparently happened beforehand, we don't have a full knowledge of what actually happened here, but apparently, this kid driving in their truck here almost hit these guys who are walking their dogs on what seems to be a shared road type thing. And in response to them almost being hit, they decide to throw dogs onto their car. And so this guy's like, hey, why'd you do that for? And here we are. Why'd you throw poop on my car? You almost hit us. I'm, what do you mean I almost hit you? I went on the other side of the oh, lane. You're the wrong guy, bro. You almost hit my wife and my dog. Keep driving. Sir, you were on the... Keep driving. Sir, you threw Keep poop driving. on my car. <laughs> Sir, I'm on mine. You can't do... Like... You almost hit my wife and my dogs. Keep driving. Sir, I did not almost hit you guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> bro, this... Sir, are you okay? I'm telling you, I was driving this way. You can stop, okay? You're telling me. Turn your phone off and learn how to get the out of my face and get out of here. I'm 17, bro. I don't give a. You almost hit my family. Get the out of here. Sir. I went. I'm going 25 miles an hour. The speed limit is 25. If the speed limit is 5, I can go 25. You almost hit my wife and dogs. Get out of here. Oh my god, I almost hit you guys. And you get throw shit on my car. Like, what the hell is this? I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops. There's two things I have right off the bat here. It, isn't it funny how the people that are always screaming and yelling, get out of my face, are also the same people to walk up to the car and get into someone else's face instead? Like, I get the gist of what he's trying to say. He's trying to say, leave me alone, off type deal. But he's saying in a way, get out of my face, even though he's literally come up to the car and put his face in front of someone else's face and then said that, which makes no sense sense whatsoever and also is it just me who's a little bit concerned that a 17 year old gets is is driving a vehicle of this size and power i don't know like i don't know. That, that just might just be me thinking like uh should we really have people who probably haven't been driving for that long drive vehicles this deadly i don't know and yeah he might have been doing the speed limit down the road but I mean, there's one of these things where it's called, uh, when you drive a lot, you learn to be wise with what you're doing. Yeah, the speed limit's 25, but there are people currently walking, so maybe it's smart to slow down a little bit so you have a lot more reaction time to get around them. I don't know. It, uh, it's a weird one. Uh, what are your thoughts, actually? Comments below. The person behind the camera here is trying to get a refund for their meal for one reason or another. We don't have that information. Ultimately, they can't give the refund because the manager has to do it and there is no manager in the store but right now. But the customer keeps pestering them about the refund and one of the employees have a very interesting reaction. All I did was ask for a refund because you guys gave yeah, me the wrong just order. Give her, just give a refund. She has the whole right. We can't! I mean, we Okay, well, you could at least offer to remake the order or something. I, I, we can't. We don't have permission to do any of that. So, but Why nobody... don't you go into the kitchen okay, and do it? Hey, yeah, come on. Hey, they come can on. do that later. You can do it later. That's fine. But this back. is inconvenience to me right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to kill it. Get out of my no, way. No, oh, wow. Yeah. Let me go oh, ahead and call the police yeah. on you guys. Yeah. Let, you, let me call the police on you guys. And I have my lawyer also. Come on, you want to... This is the type of people you guys have working stuff. And you want to give them my refund back. And my, a $9 refund. Nobody can, nobody has the power to give me it. When you have your employees attacking me. <laughs> you have one of your employees attacking me. So this is what we're dealing with. If only a manager can give a reef. I, I swear I've seen a Hardy's clip before across the clips that I've been watching over the past year and a bit. Like, 
I, I swear, it's like one of those things. Okay, if only a manager is allowed to approve refunds in any capacity, approve remakes of food in any capacity, then there should be a manager there nine times out of ten. Like, there should be a very low possibility of not having a manager on site if they are required for something like that because those things are going to happen on the regular, uh, semi-often. It's going to happen. Um, your employees are going to stuff up at some point and do a meal wrong or something goes wrong and if a manager has to approve something like that then they're kind of going to be there all the time like that just sounds like an inefficiently stupid system and this employee either has major anger issues has either a mental disability of sorts or just uh, is it, it sucks as a person either way I don't know how they're in a public facing job like this one with that type of attitude it's interesting to say the least i i get desperate met times require desperate measures like you just go into a random job and fast food restaurants are very desperate for people in general though i don't know about this one the person behind the camera are, is a part of a jet ski boat rental company here and has spotted one of the people renting one of their jet skis has crashed it, flipped it, so has gone over there to retrieve it and talk to the guy about what in the world you just did, and he can't help but try and redirect the blame elsewhere. Can you throw it over to him? Huh? But y'all shit does not work. Dude, you flipped it. It's upside down right now. Like, what are you talking you. about? Like, yeah, right now, but like even tarot, earlier. Um, Can I have the tarot? It, no, I, I would like to Dude, talk to you. Dude, it's literally upside down right now in the see, water. I can see Can that. you give me the tow rope before he loses the I jet ski? I can see that. He's not Dude, you're clearly wasted. Do you see the security guard waiting for you guys up there? No, that's a DUI, but that right? Fair, but Dude, you f***ed up. You f***ed up bad. Look at that. It's upside down. I literally have you on uh, video you crashing. You guys, shit is bullshit. Like, this f***ing, the, the speakers blew out, first of all. You were three right. hours late to your rental. The okay, jet ski is currently upside it, down. So Dude, bullshit. it's currently it's upside bullshit. down in the water. Yeah, because your jet ski is Holy bullshit. Holy shit, dude. Your jet ski is bullshit. It's, all, it's upside your down jet ski is bullshit. in the water. A jet ski can flip over. No, it can't, dude. You're Goofy, bro. Man, it's either drunk or high or a mixture of both, but good lord. <laughs> Man, it's not my fault the jet ski flipped. I wasn't the one. It was broken. The speakers blew out. That's why it flipped. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm laughing because that's how I choose to deal with any situation like this. It sucked to be the person who A, rented this thing out, and B, who has to now deal with the aftermath of, yep, that jet ski's probably wrecked. Probably. Most likely. Because it's flipped. But, yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> what a man. is just sitting there going, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. It was you guys who gave me a bad jet ski. <laughs> God. Here we have a California city mayor intimidating their female colleague in the middle of a session. I want you to make sure that we're going to run this meeting with decorum, which means everybody respects everybody, because I know it'll be a difference of opinion. That's, that's the problem here is to, Chris, I want you to understand that there's a whole lot of other people who feel the opposite direction, and trying to address that in this room is the wrong place to do it. But we I'll need, tell you right we now, need to Carissa, have the conversation I'm telling you right now, Carissa, I, my, I'm speaking now. I'm telling you right now, Carissa, if you want to, you know, if you want to have a resolution, which I don't believe this is a privy to the city council, if you want to have a resolution, you're going to have a thousand people, all sorts. I'm okay opinion. with that. It's democracy. You know, I understand it's democracy, it. but you know what? Excuse me. You had your opportunity to speak. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We're adjourned. Carissa, you, you need to knock this off. You need to knock this off. Let's talk later. Let's talk later, Mayor. You need to calm down. You're out of order, sir. Look, I'm not one to speak on this type of thing, but how are you in a public speaking role such as being a mayor and you still can't pronounce words in a correct manner? 
or even enunciate in a correct way. I definitely just said that wrong. As I said, I'm not one to speak on that type of thing because I stumble over words a lot and things on those lines, and I definitely will mispronounce things a lot, but I try my best here, but how are you in an elected position where you're a literal mayor and you can't say things correctly? Like, surely you take your time to do that, or rehearse your speeches, or whatever in the world, and look, doing this is just... <laughs> like, that, honestly, at the bare minimum, that must have been extremely embarrassing, just being told to calm down because your actions are showing off as you as a bit of an angry, angry man who does not handle it when a female seems to disagree with their opinion and isn't exactly going along with what they're saying, which, you know, it's always funny to see people like this. I say funny, but, you know, these people need to grow up and move on with their lives and just be better. But, you know, here we are. Do we have a Karen screaming and shouting in Walmart? So what? So what? I won't. Yes. I won't. I absolutely will not lower my voice because you're not my mother. No, but I can kick down the sofa. Well, go ahead. Who you want to hurt? Me or Walmart? Yeah. You are? Yeah, I'm good. I don't need yeah. I'm good. All I ask is to let me out. That's all I ask. Right there. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I appreciate the de escalation, sir. <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? I can help you? Can I help you? Say anything to you. No, you looked at me. I'm looking at the camera. No, you looked at me. Shut up. Get out my face. No, ma'am. Get out my face. My, what? My first huh. caring, man. I'm part of Walmart security. Okay, go get out my face. <laughs> don't ma'am me. She made the for everybody. You don't know what There's so doing. much room, dude. You get told that someone's child is sleeping, so your opinion is to start screaming and t yelling at the top of your lungs when a Walmart employees come and tell you, like, hey, can you just go? Like, you don't need to be here anymore, and you tell them to shut up and get out of your face. It's just like, what an entitled asshole. Legitimately, nothing more to it that. You are an entitled bitch who should just go. Like, what the f <laughs> Is it that hard for you just to talk in a normal voice and not scream at the top of your lungs at people? Is it really that hard? Like, seriously? Wow. Here we have someone who catches a massive public freak out outside their window on a parking lot that ends in a very interesting way. That's it, Karen. Let out all your inner demons by screaming like a banshee because this person clearly isn't coming back to say hi to you anymore. They are clearly out of this situation and don't want nothing to do with you. So sitting there screaming your lungs out is not really going to change much. Actually, maybe it will. Maybe someone will call the police on you and you might find yourself in a psych ward. Actually, that's not something to joke about. But, you know, you're, you're really, like, was that screaming necessary? Casually racist neighbors having a fight with their neighbor. My daughter told him not to come over here. Hey! My daughter told him not to come over here. Period. We're not trying to start crap. We're neighbors. Come on. Crap happened. Just leave him alone. Maybe take care of your child. This is between us. Because you're the homeowner, right? Yeah. It's fine. Go back to Mexico. Bye. 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 Hey, next time I hope he gets him in the neck. Hey, come on. Come on to my property. Come on. That's my thought. Pussies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. Why do you guys just go inside? I love people like that who are just come out with some form of threat. They either come out with their gun, come out with an aggressive animal, or one of various different things and tell someone to come over to their yard right now. And then when the person doesn't, they say, ah, that's right, you're a pussy. You're too scared to do that. Ha 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 ha. It's like, you totally didn't just bring out a weapon of some form or didn't bring out a dog that is clearly going to be sent to bite us. You're totally not just going to to be nice and not cause your cause a f scuffle if they do step on your yard. No, no, you're just going to immediately let go of the dog and let the dog haul maul the guy. But like, that's legitimately what this guy would have done. And I don't get what the point is. It's like, ha, see, you won't. Got you there. You're too scared. It's like, no shit. No one's going to do that because you just it's like. Do you not put two and two together? You come out with a gun or you come out with a dog and threaten to have the dog sick on you? It's like, what the fuck's that? What do you think's gonna happen? They're gonna actually go on your lawn after you're being like that? No, you idiot. The person behind the camera is making an order at Domino's. You know, in some Domino locations, you can easily see into the area where they start constructing your pizza. And, well, the person saw something she wasn't quite happy with and started recording. Can you not make my food in a dirty pan? It's all that stuff dirty down there. You you making my food? Yeah, but you're making my food in all that dirt. I don't want you to make my food in all that dirt while he's cleaning out. No, I'm taking a video of how you making my food. I'm trying to get the video. But, yeah, but first you didn't wash your hands. Yeah, first you first you didn't wash your hands, and then you're going to make my food inside all that dirt. I want my money back in the name of your manager. And the name of your manager, okay? Because you just... Went in there and made my food first. I said, you took my order. Huh? Yeah, did she put your food inside the dirty cloth? In the dirty thing right there? I don't know. I don't give a Uncle, who the that you talking to? Give me my money. No, you're going to give me my money. You're going to get you. Nigga, I'm going to people. Okay? Give me my money. Give me my money. And I got the video of what you did. Of you cussing at no, me and No, and hey, what you did. To my food. Oh, what you did? No, you didn't. I told you you didn't wash your hands. Cool, if I this you move. Online, what you gonna do? I will sue you. Okay, yeah, good. You got okay, yes. You're okay. Right. No, you are, cause you're in my you, damn business. You, you're in my business. Cause they making my food. She yeah. making my food in the in the dirty sink, and you saying I'm causing problems. You Nigga, are, you, no, you are, and you are, and you are. Okay. Can I get my money back, please? Just go for it. Okay, it was twenty nine dollars. She just went in there, dug her hands in the damn chicken wings, and he seen it without washing her hands. And I told her to wash her hands. I asked her. Yes, I I want you to kiss my. Okay, what the to do, nigga? What you want to do? I'm running your. What you want to do? You. And I'm in your face saying it. I mean, I'm gonna throw my shit. Enjoy, mother. Enjoy your. Enjoy your man. You. Enjoy your you. I will ruin your career. Say one thing wrong. You will not make it. No. What? Shut the. Shut the. Shut the. Both of y'all. She don't sit there and put our food in the dirty sink and try to make my damn food. So this clip is very interesting to me because there's a few things I just want to talk about. Now, first off, it's clearly late at night and the Stonomos must be close to closing. So they're probably trying to clean off the troughs and trying to get ahead with cleaning bits and pieces. Now, what usually happens, at least from my basic understanding and what I've seen, this that little area, it's not really a sink per se. It's more of a trough of sorts to catch any form of flour, any form of unused food material that falls off a pizza when they're making it. And usually they have... A metal sheet slider thing that hooks in that they can slide along to hold the dough on so that it's above and out of the effective waste area and to do the pizza nicely. Clearly they must be cleaning that at this point in time and so they decided to make the pizza in the trough itself which is uh just absolutely disgusting considering that you know the trough has probably not been emptied at all throughout the day if it's been that if it's been busy enough it may have been emptied a few hours ago if it hasn't been that busy but it's still just an immediate no-no so i can understand the character the lady being extremely upset I, and i don't think recording and then having a screaming match with not only the worker there but also the other people eating there is the brightest move especially that late at night I can understand it though, entirely, 
And also, depending on which state you live in, in theory, the worker could possibly sue you if he so choose because you're technically in a private business that is open to the public, but how the public recording law works, if you're inside of a building that is not a publicly owned building, technically speaking, you can't record there and not get in trouble for it. So it, there's a few gray areas there. Overall though, I agree with the person behind the camera. That is just horror and I would not want my pieces being made in that section. In this next clip, Karen gets in an argument with a bunch of movers. Let's see. Nobody's trying to do anything for you. That's okay. Good Lord. We're just trying to do our job. No, you're not. You told them that you wanted $200 extra dollars. I have I do You could do it. Take That's whatever what you, you want. Them. Are you lying now? I'm not lying. You didn't hire me. You didn't hire me. Great. I'm down with you. Hey, just how you Hey. I'm down with you. Hey, just how you Hey. Great. Hey. That was perfect. Can I have you? That's perfect. No, no, don't worry. You don't need to take it out. You don't need to take it out. For them right now. <laughs> you didn't hire me. So just put keep that in mind. We can stay here all day. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna make you famous. <laughs> I am going to make you famous. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna call them right now. Si, sí, yo le hablo ahorita. I'm gonna call them right now. Si, sí, gracias. I hate to be that guy, but based upon the work they were showing within this clip, I don't know if I would hire these guys to move my stuff in particular, but at the same time, it looks like whoever hired them was also just moving a bunch of empty boxes and boxes filled with rubbish for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to question that too much. I just love the lousy attempt from the Karen to attempt to throw a box at them, but in the process trips over and scrapes her leg against the truck ramp. And then now after that's happened, is claiming that this is because they hit her, they tried to throw a box at her, they assaulted her. It's just like throwing everything that she can to attempt to maybe stroke some form of fear or some worry into the movers or something because clearly that they clearly they weren't taking her seriously and she wasn't liking that fact. <laughs> 
This guy was casually enjoying himself at the complex's pool and gets interrupted by this funky Karen. You wanna be famous today? I got enough followers. We'll get you all over it. Since I'm Mr. Nobody and I'm homeless. Hi. My name is Peaches and your ugly ass uh, streamer Arizona. whatever said that he he got a little ass head and a little ass dick, pink dick actually. Pink little ass dick and a pink little ass head and a pink little ass nose and a big ass mother head. When like, we go over to the other side of the building, I'll show y'all which one she's in. Bitch, I'll show you where the f you at with your ugly ass shoes. How the f your shoes so little? Cause you're little. You got a little dick, little body, little head. Wait, actually, big head. Make up your mind. Why the f you in our pool? You're homeless. Your mom's over there watching you. What mom? My mom's at work. You sound stupid as f Why the f are you recording me, you stupid ass bitch? I told you why. Why you acting Why, because you're homeless in why our pool? Me? I'm homeless, you're funny. Then why are you in our pool? Your pool. Are you just, is this your way you flirt with people? Why you got a little ass body? Is this way you, is this how you flirt with people? Flirt? Yeah. You look like Look at them nails bitch. though. You look like, you look like a whole bitch. Ain't nobody worried about you. Oh if you think. What's your TikTok? I'll tag you. Tag Yeah, what's your TikTok? It's peaches and cream, bitch. Peaches and cream? Oh, I got you back. You what about your Instagram? Don't worry. You know you like me. Get the fuck out of here. That's why I'm here talking to you. I'm trying to record you, girl. What happened? You don't like the camera now? I love the Get over here. Don't be shy. Throw that Instagram on here then. Have you seen that show, Precious? What happened? What's Why are you getting so quiet now? Say. Nothing. I don't know. I, I thought you was flirting. I, I thought My you was little, flirting. Little body, little dick. What do you well, you still say? lingering though, like a fart. Lingering? I live here. What the f you want me to do? Oh, okay. That's okay. Cute. Uh, okay. This is a good view. It is a good view. Look at that. Mm. A little sneak peek. No sneak peek. No sneak peek. A side leg? What the? F See, see, I knew we'd kick it off. Just say you like me and that's it. Just say you like me. I like you when you walk away and be quiet. Fair enough? Cool. When you're so far up your own ass that you believe someone else is falling for you after you annoy the hell out of them. Yep, yeah, makes 100% sense. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> just love how that entire thing just went in that, like, yeah, funky. In this next clip, we've got a Karen trying to explain to the cops why she's in the right and everyone else is in the wrong, and then she does com something completely stupid. The time of Karen wanted to try me and my sister. You're dumping in the dumpster that doesn't belong to you. She's backing up. She backed because into the first position. She was out. yelling at me. And so, he, well, here's where I am. I did, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wouldn't let her out. I'm way back here. She really had the nerves to slap my phone out of my hand right in front of the cop. No, I did not. Stop fucking lying. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. She couldn't resist it, could she? It's just like one of those Karen instincts. You've got to slap that phone out of their hands when you have the opportunity to, regardless of if you do it in front of a cop or not. Here we have a pair of Karens flashing with a ho fighting with a hostess on a plane. Our first time flying Spirit and this happened. Ugly ass bitch. Oh, <laughs> bitch, fuck. 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 Bitch, fuck.
Bitch, suck some ass, bitch. Go suck some dick for $10. These $40 ass talk. Oh, my God. Give it education. Oh, you ain't for the I need y'all to clear the ear. Go all the way to the phone, my dear. I need y'all to clear the ear up. I'm not playing with this lady. Go to the ear. Go to the front. Because, like, who is she talking to? I'm not your motherfucking child. Clear it out. Please clear it out for me. Please. Thank you. Clear it out. Let her go to the front, please. She better hope I don't catch up getting her motherfucking bag. Let her go to the front, guys. Please clear it out for me. Bitch, I don't care about you. Right, attendant, this, some doors fall right across checking all calls. Bitch, I get bombed out of jail, puss ass hoe. Bitch, you gonna be sitting in that bitch, you probably not gonna be All right, everybody, right if you wanna reunite with your luggage, you can claim it at Carousel. From the sounds of the announcement at the end of that clip, it turns out they're at the end of the flight. Like, you couldn't have just waited, like, the five to ten minutes it takes to get off the plane and then move on with your day you just had to go off at the flight host there just for some forsaken reason like you couldn't have just hold on a moment like there's potential ability there might have been some racist interaction there i'm not 100 percent sure because it gets a bit heated when the when those two women who are sitting down start responding very aggressively i'm not 100 percent sure but it's still one of those things you're literally at the end of the flight why do you need to be like this now it's like, it's, you could have just moved on not worried about it you're about to get off the plane anyway and probably never see this person again and this clip a couple prepaid for gas at a 7-eleven at the fuel pump and then let it time down and then when they realized that they decided to go inside to start annoying the staff for a refund in spite of the fact that it would automatically be deposited back to their bank it just may take a moment but say you don't give a f wait till you get fired you stupid as shit, bro <laughs> i bet you just got this job you just got this job you just got this job she don't got a pump you dumb she you could refund our money friend. you dumb because you don't know your job you fat wait till the cops come bro you are stupid talking about hostile of course i'm gonna be hostile i've been here since 10 30 waiting for your dumb you ain't gonna do you just gonna keep running your mouth and clapping and talking to your invisible friend you want to keep talking to your invisible friend you're not a refund wait till this go to your corporate you calling police on customers that paid you i just bought nine scratch offs from your dumb but you're gonna call police on the customer that paid you right you got $20 in my pump, but I don't have my money, right? So whose fault is it? Yours. yours. Clearly yours. I paid you for scratch-offs. You don't know how to refund the money. You don't know how to pump the gas tank. So who's untrained? I need to talk to your store manager. I need to talk to your corporate. I need to talk to everybody about you. You're going to be on YouTube. 7-Eleven Employee of the Year. What is your name? Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, take it off, Evelyn. <laughs> I see that E. I see that E, and I see that big-ass bush on your head, too. You want to start getting roasted? Your that's nose ring. Hair. My girl hair way longer than yours. Why you calling me? Wait, why that's you calling real me? hair. You got a bush. Why you calling me? A Cause she mad. Cause she mad. She knows no, she about to get fired. You are about to get fired. Cause you're dumb as. Don't worry. She she hates her life. She's about to get fired, bro. We gonna wait for the police too. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm a customer too. I just purchased. She told you she, she you supposed to uh, pump the gas apparently, right? I didn't say that. You supposed to pump the gas, gas apparently too. She was trying to pump it. The fuck? Through, that right, fault? that's her fault, bro. And she calling the police on she me because I want my fucking gas. You should do something, bro. Yeah. It's not worth it, though. Keep on going. What else you gotta say? Yeah. For the camera, calling customers too. Calling customers too, right? You lucky somebody don't do something to your big, bro. Clearly. Clearly, I didn't. Bro, I've been here since 10:30. You don't know how to refund some fucking gas. It's 11 o'clock now. You took 10 people before me before fixing a problem. Of course, I'm gonna be mad as. I don't got time to just stay here all day because you don't know your job don't trying to blame it on me. Aren't you supposed to give her your card though that you paid with? Bro, she does not know and her employee left her. That's what's so f The guy left her and said, oh, she's going to refund your money, sir. Don't worry. But she don't know how to do this, bro. So I'm supposed to just stay here and just keep watching people get rang up, right? That makes sense, right? Go ahead, sir. I've just been here since 1030. Get your have fun. You feel me? That does not make sense, though. And then she's sitting here calling the police on me because I'm mad about it. So the police is on the way, cuz. Are the police on the way? Oh, man, because she don't know her <laughs> job, dog. The police on the way because she don't know her Can job. Get our money back? She can't give me my money. She got me waiting for the police because she don't know her job. Where did our money go? Wow. You're not going to do shit. You're going to lose your job. You ain't going to jail. If you do go to jail, it's going to be when the cops come here and fire you after you won't leave. Bro, I'm trying to drive to UCF, not be in this fucking Opopka. Uh, bro, I pay with cash. Pay with card. 
You take my car back and refund it, or you put the, like, bro, I worked in gas stations. This shit ain't that hard. What's f though is her coworker left her. A nigga was in here and he just walked out and met, left it all on her. That's what's so fucked up about the whole thing. But I don't give a f about none of that. One of them should have known what the f they're doing. And neither one of them know what they're doing. So, so both of them, and I don't get my money. call corporate. Call them. I already called them. She's going to get fired. I got this video quick. She took her name tag off because she knows she's in the wrong. I hope you have fun at 7-Eleven because it was short-lived. So I think there's one thing that's very clear about this entire thing. The staff behind the counter is obviously new or very inexperienced in this entire thing. Because if she knew, if she was not new, she probably would have been able to explain to these people, hey, if you prepaid at the gas pump and it timed out or you didn't actually fuel up your car at all, that money will be just deposited back into your account. It just might take a moment. And considering it's like 10.30 at night, nine times out of 10, most banking institutions don't really process transactions transactions that late and you'll just have to wait until the next morning before you get that money back. Unfortunately, there is literally nothing else you can do about it at that point. If the money's not there, the, the staff member can't do anything about it. Clearly, she doesn't know that though properly. So, uh, this is just an entire mess of a situation. And this guy thought it's the brightest idea to take out his anger and rage at this worker for the fact that he stuffed up by letting it time out and doesn't understand the basics on how these pumps work. 